What's happening? I tell you exactly what's happening. Good morning, another video. I know it's been a couple of days since I dropped by. Obviously, I'm not on that everyday thing at the moment. Um, just concentrating on other stuff now. It's, it's sort of like, you know, semi life back to normality a little bit. Um, business is absolutely crazy at the minute. I'm about 168% up on sales to this time last year. So I know I've lost the toy fairs, but I'm making up for online, which is incredible. So thank you. Um, interesting week this week, isn't it? You know, we started off with 27, 28 degrees weather, absolutely gorgeous. In that time, then I fell in love with the Q7 a little bit, simply because the whole time of lockdown, the roads have been empty, there's been no people around, so I've literally doing the essential shop drops, etc., on my own. Um, and I've just been thinking, Christ, the S4 would have been incredible in these times. Empty roads, foot down, you know, stage one, gone. Um, but now it's so, sort of like getting back to a bit of normality. I'm a bit right, all right, okay. Oh, people are like, you know, taking notice of the car, like, you know, uh, sort of like youngish kind of guy just cruising around in a in a big ass car. It's just, yeah, people just getting attention. So, um, that's yeah, and just being around in it as well. It's comfy, which has made me fall in love with it a little bit. Um, you know, it's, it's been crazy, and I know the whole Black Lives Matter stuff this week, which, you know, I'm a big big believer of you know i've i've supported that stuff for a long time you know not just now with uh, the stuff that's going on i you know equality is everything all lives matter in my opinion you know it's a shame that you get one or two police officers that ruin it for everyone tarnishes everyone then doesn't it causes all these bloody riots and all this that and the other now to me yeah protest all you want didn't it um you know keep it peaceful it's just when you start looting places and setting things on fire that's when you just change from doing that to just being thugs in my opinion but hey ho that's just me no offense if you are one of those people uh, i'm sapping but yeah uh, <laughs> saturday today right doing my thing essential drops as per usual this is what i only time i check in really isn't it but yesterday i actually got pulled by the feds myself not even jogging which was a bit um a bit interesting one of the boys um <coughs> Excuse me, I got these new chewing gums, right? They are strong. These menthol things, bloody hell. I can feel it in my throat. But yes, yeah, so I got pulled by the feds yesterday. Um, they must have followed me for a good three to four miles, right? Coming back from both Gold to Bajen. I literally, I'd been to the to the Halifax to drop a check in. Of course, you can only do certain amounts on the app. So and I prefer the old school approach anyway, to be honest with you. Car parks are free at the minute because all the machines are covered over. So simple down, pull in walk in you know wait a bit of it wasn't like a third in queue off off in i go and pop my check in come out and i could sky clock this beamer on the roundabout and put nothing of it you know cars it's a brand new cars fully legal i'm insured all this stuff so i just thought all right no problem we we'll leave that there um just carried on a couple of cars went behind it then nothing i said again oh, okay not a problem literally as i pull back into the like housing state where i live i was just going to go off to one of the side streets um on the blue light scam i thought Okay, so I just carried off and then went up my side turning simply just because I thought, you know, just in case it's just going to a shot or whatever. But, in, you know, in my mind, I thought, ah. So I pulled the ignition off, um, hopped out the car first, both photos got out, and um, he's like, reason why we stopped doing that, well, she's anything, isn't it? Um, he said, it's private registration, it's coming back, to, um, coming back to a black Audi S4. I was like, oh, I said, it's my old car, you know, I said, I've had this in March, you know, I haven't had, you know, I had that car from from new anyway the s4 i said it was registered on my private plate as i said as is the q7 registered on my private plate he's like oh you know you, you want to check out he said you know but he said oh no ampr is coming back to the s4 i was like can't be <laughs> i literally just said can't be um you know i pulled up my phone i said look here's my insurance documents which is to a, the q7 black edition which is this car obviously and i pung up the dvla my car check thing as well type in the reg come back for the white q7 anyway he's like oh he said you want to try and be careful with that you know he said if it's like proper like traffic road traffic officers or whatever on the motorway or something he said he take the car off you i was like take the car off me i was like what are you gonna do i said everything's legal you can't do nothing but honestly nice pair of boys real nice pair of boys and that's the sort of people you want to meet you know that's how they should all be so i had a bit of banter about them as well and they're on about it and i'm twice the size of those because i am literally and um, so we were laughing over that. Bloody big trucks, man. Jesus. And um, we were on about the S4. And I'm like, oh, we go to the Q7 and all this stuff. I said, oh, it's fancy something big and comfy. I said, what I tend to do is go comfy, fast, comfy, fast, comfy, fast. So I mix it up and have the best of both worlds. I said, don't miss the S4 a bit. Not going to lie. I said to my I said, if we came down to it, like, and the blue lights come on. I said, if I put my foot down, I'd be gone. He said, we no catch me in the S4, like, you know. <laughs> so I had a bit of a laugh and joke. And he just thought, oh, he said, just be careful with it. 
said, you know, screenshot your insurance docs for there and um, the DVLA thing, just in case it pings up again. Um, and he said, you've got it there. So, you know, it's a bit of advice for it. And on I went, didn't ask me where I was. And I think I was pulling into my street anyway, so obviously the car's registered there. But, um, yeah, nice. That, that's how copper should be, because um, I haven't had... Well, in the S4, right, <laughs> they're not, I got pulled over three times, right? Um, okay, a bit, bit faster than what I should have been, or pulling off quicker. Um, but all three of them, absolutely sound. I like, I think South Wales, near enough, the Gend area, absolutely sound. No hassles, no problems. Um, there was always a bit like, oh, slow it down a little bit, you know, and one of the funniest ones I had, I got... <laughs> It was like two weeks before Christmas, two years back, and I was, you know, I was booted there a bit down the motorway, and um, bloody Mercedes van, um, and uh, unmarked, grey, all the lights in the grill and everything, pulling me, pulling me over, and um, again, it was just like, a, oh, you know, what's the speed limit? I was like, 70. He's like, how fast were you going? I was like, 70. He's like, no, you not Just like, you got any proof to, you know, show me any otherwise? And he's just laughing at me. Because I don't know, I, I know what to say, in it. Be polite, don't be a dick about it. That's when things go. But, um, and a lot, you know, just said my name, you know, address, you know, check the insurance, blah, blah, blah. But he says, if your car goes right then, does it? <laughs> I said, if we're in traffic in front of us, it wouldn't have caught me, would it? And he said, I said, get on your way, get going. And I'm not, that's how it should be. Because about six years ago, I had a bad experience with some jumped up cop, right? I respect the police, yeah? Um, I know people give them a lot of stick, whatever, but they do do a good job. I know, coming from the car scene myself, yes, they pull over for the most stupid of stuff and you do things bloody jobs with. But to be honest with you, I'd say a good 90% of them, if not a bit more, are quite sound, you know, and I respect them. They got respect for me, I got respect for them. You know, and you can tell by someone's demeanor in the first couple of minutes of speaking to someone how it is going to be. Oh, Jesus Christ, very smart blonde girl driving a blue M2 being that blue. Sapnin'. Jesus, that was nice. Um, but yeah, back to this story. I was coming home from my original hometown, Merthyr, back to where I live now. One evening, it must have been about 12 o'clock, summertime. And I can remember the, like, the main uh, dual carriageway, the A470. That was actually closed for road work. So I had to go through a place called Pont de... Uh, start again, George. A place called Pont de Prix Town, which, you know, is not the best of places, I'll be honest with you. It's not the worst of places. You know, it's one of those things where if you're in the area, there's good places, there's bad places. You know, so I'm not one to slate anything, but um, you know, summertime, I had the windows down. Um, I can remember this was at the time as well. It was the first car I actually had, um, like the DAB radio in it, so I could get history and I could get BBC One Extra. This is how far it's going back. So I had, um, it was like drum and bass takeover on One Extra. Um, absolutely slamming it, I was pumping it, music was bumping. I was just in a great mood. I hear people that don't move over on more words. Three lanes, just move over. See, this is these videos, right? It's, how long does it take for Jordan to get distracted? It may as well be. But I'm um, yeah, driving along and I can see this Mark 5 series coming along. Um, literally spun back behind me and then, you know, blues straight on. Uh, oh, it's completely not an idiot. Before he even said hello or anything to me. So I stopped the car, um, got out of it. First thing he said to me was, are you calm or do I need to call backup? I was like, what do you mean? You, am I calm or do I need to call backup? Oh, I said, if I was you, son, I'd call you backup. And I was like, you know, my attitude towards him completely changed because I'm not that sort of person. I'm chilled as anything, I just let anything go, but people like that, no. Nah. So I told him, oh, you better call you back up. Um, you know, he said, oh, if you're driving a car around, like the brand new Audi again, that's per usual, and it might, what I waste all my money on. Um, so if you're driving a car around there like that, this time of night playing that sort of music, you're only doing one thing, you know, where's the drugs? I was like, what do you mean, where's the drugs? Oh, at this point, I lost my complete nut shit with him. And he said, we're gonna search you, search your car. I was like, at the time, right, I didn't know proper laws on that stuff, so I, I was like, search your car, search me. You know, not a problem. I said, you ain't doing it though. I said, get another copper down here. And he can do it. So you ain't touching me. I had this sort of attitude with him. Um, probably shouldn't have, but to be honest with you, his whole demeanor was a complete and utter prick, right? Sorry, bit of language. I don't know what we're doing on my own channel, but that's exactly what it was. And um, so another copper come. He was sound enough. I was like, look, I said, uh, obviously, jobs were over there. He's bored. He says, I'm thinking, because I got a car like this, uh, you know, whatever I've been at the time, about 22, 23, I must be doing drugs. I said, tried to explain to him the for Sampty's clothes, so I gotta come through. So, you know, I said, search your car, search me. And um, so that's right done. He searched me, searched the car, like nothing, obviously nothing. I was like, what to do for work? I said, sell vintage toys. You know, it must have been about four or five years at the time. And um, yeah, I said, do all right. You know, I said, that's what I can afford. Cars, I guess. He said, we ping there, there's no finance, nothing on it. I said, well, no, I buy all my cars for cash. I said, there's not gonna be any finance on it. Um, and all this stuff. Uh, oh, he was right. And the other guy then just, 
you know, looked at, he just sat in his car, the original cop, I didn't say nothing, and the fair play to that cop, but he just apologised to me, he's like, look, you know, I'm sorry, you know, just, obviously he said he was just taking his appearance or whatever, but I just said, look, I said, appreciate you doing that, thank you, um, I said, like, under, like, that prick over there, I said, and, um, you know, I said, don't tire everyone with the same brush, and, um, that's, that's how it was, and ever since then, I've had no problems, Aside from I was driving from London one day picking up a collection, this was in a different Audi, and um, blue lights come on behind me and um, pull over on the M4. One wind speed in nothing, literally just cruise control sat about 72 mile an hour, just chilling along, and um, pulled over. Um, he got out, I got out, and then he was like, Oh, no, don't worry, you said you're fine. Uh, sorry, just carry on. I was like, Oh, <laughs> so obviously he must have thought something, and then time he actually pinged back the details or whatever, it was, you know. I was insured, my car, etc. Everything else, you just carry on. So that's a bit of um, police history that I've been dealing with, which you know is nothing to the grand scheme of things. But as I said, it's a shame that some cop has got to ruin it for everyone because you know I, I you know applaud them doing their jobs of what they do. You know some stuff is bonkers, is completely that idiots out there that deserve deserve stuff, but innocent stuff, no. Um, the whole Black Lives Matter, I support it big time. Any lives matter, in my opinion. Doesn't matter what your colour, your skin, race is, or whatever. And it's sad that in 2020, right, we still live in a time where it was back in the day the whole Rosa Parks stuff, all the racism stuff, you know, even just sexuality. Like to me, if you fall in love with your same sex, whatever, it, does, it really doesn't matter, right? As long as if you're happy, that's the main thing. Um, and it's sad that even in this day and age, there's still problems like that going on. And I don't know, I, I just live in hope that if I have children one day, it's going to be a better place for them, um, you know, a more fair place. Um, you know, we can live in hope, that's all we can do. But literally, that's a bit of rambling about police, about this, that, and yeah, but I do apologise, it's uh, gone on a little bit, haven't it? Um, how are you all doing anyway? Uh, so many of you checked in to say you've missed my videos, missed me chatting, etc. And honestly, blessed, thank you so much. Um, I really do appreciate it, I didn't realise, like, um... Even just me having a little chat in the car like this was, you know, a lot of you were looking forward to it. And, um, yeah, it's just that one roundabout. I draw people. I don't know. I just <laughs> pull straight out on it. I don't understand it, man. Jesus. People can't not drive. Out and round the outside. Here we go. I won't say nothing about her being a woman driver, right? although she is pretty fair play to her. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I didn't realise it was, like, having, you know, that much of an impact. So, thank you all. And... Um, you know, just saying, I know a lot of you have gone over to Viking Views. If you have, link in the description, head over to Viking Views because there's so much cool stuff coming over there. And it's incredible to be back out filming. I'm so excited about it. Um, so we're trying to get back to our usual structure where we've got a bit of content. But for now, every Tuesday, a video is going to drop on there. And as of when we're out filming stuff, doing stuff, the Thursday videos will come back. And do you know what? They're probably, when like stuff is open and properly eased, we'll get out and do a lot more videos as well. And, um, adding stuff to it because it's going to get to a point I don't see why it's not like three four videos a week going up on our channel and then alongside the paranormal stuff as well because we've got ideas for this which we want to do and there's lots of stuff we're ready to go up on it but that's talking fast that's enough for me this is boss this is a video take care everyone peace and love to you all and remember all lives matter Boosh.